Hello, my name is Erin Nelson. I'm a physical therapist with Pearson PT. I've been practicing for um, since 2009, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about dry needling. I've been dry needling since 2014. It's a manual technique that therapists really like to use uh, for patient recovery with all sorts of conditions. Dry needling is basically where we take a fine filiform needle place that into a trigger point in a muscle or dysfunction that we find in the patient's muscle to help gain them, whether it be the range of motion, pain relief, um, improved function in terms of movement patterns and that sort of thing. The really, the big thing that we're looking for when we use the needles is getting a change in a pain pattern for a patient. Um, most patients that come in to see us, that's usually their biggest complaint. It's pain of some sort. And with pain usually comes reduced range of motion, reduced mobility, um, tension through tissue and that sort of thing. And what we find is dry needling has been a really nice manual use of therapy to reduce that tension through the tissue. When we put that needle in the muscle, it causes a localized twitch response. It's kind of like a cramp or a spasm in the muscle. And that's kind of like sending a signal to your brain for that muscle to relax. So you can kind of get that muscle to kind of calm itself down a little bit, then you can take you through stretching and movement a little bit uh, more readily. I really love this treatment for patients because you can get so specific um, into your target tissue. You know, sometimes with our hands, we can only do so much, but with a needle, you can get really to the deepest set of muscles that you're really trying to look at. I think about this particularly in the lumbar spine, our multifidi, which are great stabilizers in the spine, are also the deepest set muscles. And you can't get to those with your hands. You use muscle energy techniques and different things, but you can get to them with the needle, which tends to be a really nice way to help patients reduce some of their low back pain, improve stability, improve muscle firing, and all of those kinds of things. The other thing I really love about needling is it's widely used across all patient populations. I don't, I can't, you know, I can use it pretty much on anybody unless they either refuse needles or don't have the ability to refuse that type of treatment. Um, of course, there are certain patients with bleeding conditions. There are precautions that we take and that sort of thing, but it can be used against a wide array of patients, which is also very nice. And I find that a lot of patients, even though the, patient, the treatment might be a little uncomfortable, what they get out of the treatment is always worth that for them. And I would say that 90% of my patients tell me that. We do get the question a lot about what's the difference between acupuncture and dry needling. The only similarity between the two is the needle. Acupuncture is based on Eastern Chinese medicine um, and they do look at trigger points similar to how we look at trigger points, but their application of the needle is quite different. Um, we use a Western based technique of evaluation and a deep dive into that patient's dysfunction to decide how we're going to use the needles and acupuncture through their Eastern medicine techniques is quite different in terms of, um, they look at, they call them meridians in your body, um, patterns on the tongue, different things like this that are Eastern based medicine. So truly the only similarity in the whole treatment is the needle. In some situations, I do feel like the needling will get you um, a little more relief more quickly. Um, it also depends on the patient's condition, obviously. In those acute patients, I really feel that as long as they're not overly irritable in the tissue, you will see results in that needling with some sort of relief. I have found in patients within three to six treatments. Um, with your chronic patients, it might take a little bit closer to that six treatments, maybe a little bit beyond, but for, for what I have seen in all my patients that I use it in, that three to six treatment window is kind of the sweet spot. Patients typically do get um, a fair amount of relief within that time frame, and they usually want to continue with the needling or continue with therapy because they're getting that positive progression. Um, and I feel like that three to six treatment window is a really nice window of opportunity because that's a pretty quick sign of improving um, symptoms for patients and they kind of see that value right away when you get that relief. Like I said before, you can use it with several conditions, musculoskeletal, neurological. Um, so, you know, you see them with quad or hamstring strains, low back pain. It works wonderfully for a lot of patients with tension headaches, uh, cervicogenic type things. Um, so we use dry needling a lot and we feel that it's a really nice tool to help supplement all the other things that we can do for patients when they come in for 